Hi folks, Angelique Wiley here and today's lesson is all about the skills that you're born with. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean when I was born and I was a baby, I had no skills. But if you think about it, God put gifts in all of us. Now he didn't put every single gift in all of us. Um, we're each given a couple gifts that we are going to be good at. And what each person needs to do is figure out what those gifts are that you were given and then kind of build on those skills. So just think, look at Michael Jordan. The skill he was given was to be an amazing basketball player, right? And Brett Favre, he was given the skill to have an amazing throwing arm and be an awesome quarterback of his time. Me, Angelique, I definitely don't have a throwing arm. I wasn't given that. I definitely am not tall enough to play basketball. So everybody was given a skill. And I think my skill is teaching and training others. And I've always been very good at that, along with building businesses. But you put me down at the stock market and I am not going to be good at making you any money in the stock market. So we are all given special gifts and it's very important for parents nowadays to not raise their children saying you could be all, anything that you want to be. That is so important because you do realize you are going to pump your kid up that you can be whatever you want to be, a doctor, a lawyer, or and, and then they're going to fall on their faces when it doesn't come true. And that is going to be such a big disappointment. So really the biggest thing that a parent could do is help a child figure out what their special gifts are. Be looking for what the child's special gifts are through their life. And then help them build on those gifts. Same thing with a manager for your employees. The best thing you could do is figure out what the skills are of your employees and then build on that and develop them in that. If they're good at project management, give them projects. If they're good at um, keeping spreadsheets, give them spreadsheets to do and help them grow in what they're good at. Uh, your job is a leader and this is oh so, so important to me. Your job as a leader is to not fill their cup full okay you're probably thinking what that's the job of a leader is to fill every employee's cup full no your job as a leader is to empty your cup does that make any sense to you you are to take your full cup and you are to empty it because you will never know all the knowledge of the world but as long as you have passed on all the knowledge that you've ever known, that is enough. So empty your cup as a leader, as a parent. And I'll, I'll uh, ask often, you know, your employees, your children, what do you need? How can I help you? Always be there for them to continue to empty your cup. And that is... That's what it is all about, being a parent and a leader. You know, the older generation, that's that's us. I call myself the older generation because I'm older. We need to lead the younger generation. Keep them engaged. Ask them lots of questions. Walk with them. Talk with them. Show them how. Um, don't be fake. You know, I get a lot of um, parents or leaders that have younger generation that work for them or are with them feel like, oh, I need to dress like my kids or I need to have, my kids need to have iPhones and iPads and that's the most important thing and I need to have them too. And don't be fake. You don't need that to communicate to your kids or to your employees. You have to find a common element that you guys can stand on the same ground with and walk in that. You know, you don't need to be um, something that you're not. And, you know, <clears throat> it's important for you to teach your kids and your employees to have them pick up where you left off. 
So when I am with an employee, I'm training them to take my place someday, right? That's my goal. Have them pick up where I left off and, and, and make sure that they don't make the same mistakes that you did during that process. And that's the same thing with your kids because you want them to learn from you and from your mistakes and then live the life on that you were, you were living, but then for them and they can pick up where you left off. And honestly, as I see it, this is our heritage right? What we've lived in our life is our heritage. And what we're doing for them is their inheritance. Our heritage is their inheritance. They're going to inherit that from us, whether it's a, a child or an employee, because that's what you're leaving behind. That's your legacy for them. So you need to make sure you empty your cup and you you help them grow on the skills that they were born with and trust and believe in them and give them faith give them all of your faith in them and help them grow and then they will they will succeed in their future whether it's your children or your employees i just really feel that you have to feel it in your heart and i feel it in my heart and that's why i think i've always been a very very successful leader because you have to have that compassion that trust that belief so important now go take that advice and have a great day